Hi, welcome to the Penguin Post newspaper by kids. Today we are interviewing Christy Visagi. She's a paleo, paleobiologist working at Georgia State University. Let's ask her some questions. Can you tell us about what you study and explore? Sure, I would love to. So I um, am a paleobiologist or paleoecologist, as you said, and I'm really interested in marine fossils in particular, so ancient life in the oceans, uh, as well as modern life in the oceans and what we can learn from the fossil record to help think about conservation now and to study changes in the relationship between different types of organisms, predator-prey interactions, things like that. And I can get into more detail if you like, but that's general kind of what I study. How did you become interested in paleo biology? So when I was five years old, I was playing on the gravel driveway by my house in New Jersey, and I noticed a very strange rock that had a shell in it. it, looked like it had a shell in it. And I brought it to my parents and we took it to a museum and we met paleontologists. And I learned that it was a fossil brachiopod, which is very similar to a clam. And then my family joined fossil clubs in the area. And so we went collecting fossils as a family and I decided to take a geology class in high school that I really enjoyed. And then in college, I thought I wanted to pursue a major and a career, something to do with biology or geology. And studying paleontology was the perfect place to do both biology and geology because I could get the rocks, but I could also learn about um, animals and plants, et cetera. So that's kind of how I grew up interested in fossils. And then I just kept opening doors to lead me down the paleontology career pathway. I didn't necessarily say, I'm going to be a paleontologist, but I kept choosing summer jobs and classes <laughs> that kind of led me down that path. What is the difference from paleontology and paleobiology? Uh, so paleontology is the kind of overall study of fossils in many different ways. You could be a paleontologist and study the evolution of life. You could be a paleontologist and study how those organisms are preserved in rocks and the quality of preservation. You could be a paleontologist and study how ancient food webs were reconstructed and how species interacted in the past. Um, and so all those different kind of subsets of paleontology, some of those paleobiology more relating to specifically the life um, would be that, that subset of paleobiology versus kind of paleontology broadly overall. What is your favorite vertebrate fossil? So as you may know, I'm an invertebrate paleontologist and I mostly study snails and clams. However, I have done one research project on fossil shark teeth. And so I'd probably have to go with a shark tooth and the snaggle tooth shark in particular. Um, that shark tooth I just think is really cool and snaggle tooth is such a cool name. So I, I, that's the first one that came to mind when you asked that question. Where do you go to find fossils? Hmm. Well, I'm in Georgia currently, so most of the fossil collecting I've done in recent years has been in Georgia. We have a great fossil record. We have fossil plants from the Paleozoic. We have mollusks and corals and echinoderms from the Cenozoic. We have brachiopods and trilobites from the Paleozoic. Uh, we do have dinosaur fossils from the Mesozoic, although that's not my area, so I don't know too much about them. Um, so it's mostly been Georgia, although in my life, I have collected fossils in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, um, all along kind of the Southeast, North Carolina, Florida, 
Texas. I worked for the National Park Service there on fossils for a while. So many, many different places. Who is your favorite paleontologist? Who is my favorite paleontologist? Hmm, that is a good question. <laughs> I don't know if I have a, an immediate answer. I think there are, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to, to pick more than one, but uh, one that comes to mind is Mary Anning, who is a paleontologist from England, who um, was one of the most notable early female paleontologists. And the saying, she sells seashells by the seashore is supposedly in part named after some of uh, her fossil collecting. So I think Mary Anning would be someone that would come to mind. And then I would also say Stephen Jay Gould, uh, who is a really famous paleontologist. He wrote a lot of popular books also for um, the public on the fossil record. He also studied snails, which I studied. And my mentors, both for my master's and my PhD, worked with him. So even though I never got to meet him, I, I come from his lineage of, of training. So I think he comes to mind as well. Were you interested in paleo, in paleo biology as a kid? Yes. So from five years old on, as I mentioned before, and my mom tells me that in kindergarten, I used to bring rocks and fossils to show and tell at school. Uh, so I guess it's, it's always been a part of my life. That was so cool. cool. We learned a lot from you and thank you for your time. Bye.